we can allow uploads in Google Forms, and I'm going to show you how to allow only PDFs to be uploaded. This is very interesting because sometimes you're going to be getting some type of file, and you want to make sure that it's a very specific type of file. For instance, no images, no PNGs, no JPEGs. We want a specific file type, a PDF. Here we have a Google form that's already connected to a Google Sheet. We have this submit for bookkeeping. If we don't know where the Google form is, we can always just go to the tab that's uploads here, go up to tools, manage form, edit form, and that'll open a new tab and we'll be able to edit this form. Go over to the upload response. Here it's already a short answer, so I want to click that and select file upload right here. It's going to ask me hey, let respondents upload files to Drive, and they're going to be uploaded to the form owner's Google Drive. So just be sure you know where those are or where that is, and the respondents will be required to sign into Google when file upload questions are added to a form. So make sure to only share this form with people you trust because if you share this to the open web, people can just upload file after file after file, and you would have all of those in your Google Drive, which you do have a limit, and then you have to start paying for uh, extra space. So let's hit continue. This is very good, by the way, for like bookkeeping uh, or internal processes where we need to get a PDF. So the very first thing we see are some, and the top one, allow only specific file types. We're going to select that. Once we select that, we now have the file types that we could select. We're going to select PDF. There's also document, there's also spreadsheet, there's also image or audio, but we only want PDFs. Now, this is key here, maximum number of files, make sure it's the, what you want. So maybe there is some times where you're uploading multiple PDFs, so you may want to increase this to five or 10, but we're gonna leave this at one now. And now maximum file size is important. Look, it says at the bottom, this form can accept up to one gigabyte of files, but PDFs are generally small file sizes. I think I have like a PDF that's like 400 pages and it's three megabytes. So we can limit this to like one megabyte, knowing that it's going to be just either one or two pages in case somebody uploads the wrong PDF. If they upload a very large PDF, we don't want those large file sizes because as I said before, this is going to be uploaded to the owner of the Google Forms Google Drive. So we may want to decrease this file size to one megabyte. Now we don't have to save any changes. All changes have been saved in the drive. And if we go back to our sheet, we see that there's no changes here. It's going to be seen over on the actual form here. It says here, expense, put your answer here and upload. Upload one supported file. It says PDF, maximum one megabyte. So someone can upload a file there from their computer. And it will also mention that they will be recorded, their Google account will be recorded, and they have to have a Google account signed in. So those are something to be aware of as you create this PDF only upload. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was very helpful to you to allow only PDFs to be uploaded to your Google form. Hang in there. And if you want to get more out of Google Sheets than you ever have before, subscribe here on YouTube to Better Sheets.